A lot of cancer patients will come to us being told immunotherapy or checkpoint inhibitors will not work for them. For example, they do not express the marker PDL1, which is a defense weapon tumors use to often fight back against a threatening immune response. But after going through a dendritic cell technology such as which we provide, a number of patients have seen their cancers go from PDL1 negative to PDL1 positive. What does that tell me, an immunologist, to see this kind of shift so closely after a, a proposed immunotherapy designed? to educate and engage the patient's immune system, success. This is far from a guarantee and it doesn't happen for every patient, but if all of a sudden the cancer has decided there is a new player in town that it needs to protect itself from, and it is upregulating defense systems to fight back, tells us the patient's immune system is finally educated, engaged, and fighting. It also tells us that this patient may actually have another new treatment modality offered to them. PD-1 and PD-L1 drugs may have made no sense before if their cancer wasn't using this mechanism. If it is now, well then why isn't this a viable option to add to the treatment plan down the road? So not only are we getting a patient's immune system fixed and fighting, but we're bringing other treatment options to the table and this should not be overlooked. I'm Matt Halpert and you can learn more about us and this at immunocene.com.